Hey everyone, HCG Chica. I'm just checking in to let you guys know some big news. Um, I decided to start my second round. Uh, it's been about two and a half months now. And, um, you know, I'm just ready. I'm just ready. I'm mentally ready. And actually, I was watching uh, Neely HCG's vlog earlier, and she talked about how, you know, you just don't want to waste your motivation. And I'm just, I'm feeling motivated. Um, I have, there's just a number of reasons. After I had the flu, I just, my stomach hasn't been feeling the best. I haven't wanted to eat. And I'm like thinking, as long as I'm feeling like I don't want to eat, I, I might as well be losing weight. So, um, and I'm used to how I look now. So I'm kind of like, okay, I'm ready to, ready to go down a little further and get for, you know, closer to my goal. So I'm actually loading tomorrow. Um, and then I'll be having my first CD on Wednesday. Um, the other thing is my mom already started her second round. She, um, I'm just going to kind of give you her basic stats. She gained six pounds loading. And um, in the last five VLCD days that she's had so far, she's lost 9.8 pounds net. And she's lost 10.6 total. Um, she had a 0.8 gain today. But the last four days before that, she had really good losses. Uh, VLCD1, she was down 3.4. Um, then um, day two, down 2.4. Day three, down 2.6. Day four, 2.2. And then, like I said today, there was an 8.8 .8 gain. Um, she just thinks it's, you know, too much salt. So anyway, that is fantastic. So she's already on her way. Um, she ended up stabilizing about four pounds above her LDW, which I think is, um, many of you on here, you know, agree that, um, sometimes your body just kind of wants to be somewhere. So it seems like as long as you actually become stable at a weight around where you were, that I think is what counts. Um, and so she did, and, and she stabilized for, um, nine whole weeks and she was so excited about that because she said she's never never maintained any weight loss for any length of time so so that that's you know really exciting um so anyway so i'm not going to be too far behind her uh being on the vlcd um the other thing is uh, she is still having hunger i know that that is kind of normal the first week but given the fact that her whole last round was plagued by hunger. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really looking into other things. I actually, I've been doing a little research. I think, I think what it comes down to is that um, she has leptin resistance. Um, she's actually had a leptin test, and, and she definitely is leptin resistant. She has leptin resistance. Um, and I, I think that's probably what's causing it. So we've tried every dose you, know, you could possibly try. Right now she's on the basic one. 150, 150 IU is injecting, but, um, so I'm just trying to look into possible things to fix that, because as you know, being hungry on this protocol is, you know, it's a bear, it's, it's tough, um, and, you know, we're doing long rounds, so I did find one product, it's called Irvingia Gabonensis, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of that, um, it's an extract, it's, it's, um, it's from like some African plant or I think it's called African mango supplement. Um, and I guess it's supposed to be like a, a really successful um, hunger suppression type thing that has to do with leptin possibly. I can't say I've actually researched this fully yet. But anyway, if any of you guys have heard of that or Vingia or African mango supplement, um, and I'm pretty sure it's safe to take on this protocol because I actually read that some of the homeopathic formulas um, include that in the in the formula for HCG. So I think we might have her try that first. Um, I also read that there are a couple of medications that people are starting to use that's supposed to decrease leptin resistance. One is called Bietta, B-Y-E-T-T-A, and the other is called Simlin, S-Y-M-L-I-N. Um, you know, I'm not too fond of medications usually um, that aren't something that your body already would make or use, but... Um, you know, there is a, there is a time and place for, you know, things. Um, but anyway, if any of you have ever taken that or know anything about it, you know, please comment, um, because that's supposed to decrease leptin resistance, um, which should affect your hunger, uh, your hunger and how you feel. So I'd, I'd love to hear any thoughts on that. Um, 
because I, I just really would like to find a solution to this for her. Um, just, yeah, it's just really not normal <laughs> to be. She's she's really hungry. It's not just like a, a little thing here and there. She's just like it's really hungry all day. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure that that is the cause now, now that I've done this research. Um, anyway, that's that. And the last thing is, is I wanted to see, um, actually, you know, what? I'm going to just do it on another vlog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys.